Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Moz, and in this video, I wanna talk about the impact that ChatGPT and generative AI have on content creators like myself, as well as tech educators and educators across the board. You know, before ChatGPT was released, the typical method that I went about to learn new tools, technologies, concepts, was a mix of multiple uh, online resources. And I typically go to YouTube, I'd go to uh, Stack Overflow, I would uh, look at articles that people had wrote, and generally I would just kind of synthesize all of these resources together as I found them on the internet to solidify my understanding of whatever it was that I was trying to uh, learn, whether it be a concept, a new tool. The first learning experience that I had with ChatGPT was setting up a, uh, a Kubernetes cluster on a local Raspberry Pi cluster that I have uh, in my office. And every time I would hit, you know, a snag, I, I could just ask ChatGPT, like, what, what does this error mean? Like, can you help me out with this particular error? Since then, I've noticed that I'm able to depend on ChatGPT a lot more when I'm trying to learn. And I also realized that since I'm not using these resources uh, anymore that I was previously using, it's likely that other people are not using these same resources and other people are not depending as much on things like YouTube videos. And evidence that, uh, you know, not just myself, but a lot of people are tur now turning to almost entirely ChatGPT to assist them in their learning process is the fact that, you know, companies like Chegg uh, had their, you know, their revenue impacted pretty significantly earlier in the year uh, by uh, people using ChatGPT rather than subscribing to uh, Chegg's service. But if you look at this from the perspective of an educational content creator like myself, seeing the impact that ChatGPT has, you know, it's not just eating into the business of Chegg, but it's eating into my business as a, you know, technical uh, content creator. I think this is especially true in learning new tools. Uh, for instance, like, you know, CLI tools like Docker, Kubernetes, or, you know, Prometheus, Grafana, all of those tools. If you think about the direction that we're headed with AI, and uh, you might have seen the recent Dev Day from OpenAI, where they uh, demoed some new features of ChatGPT and they demoed the Assistant API. What I think you're going to see in the near future is an AI Assistant being integrated with the interface of tools. So for instance, let's say you're a developer and you join a new company, and that company uses GitLab for their source code management system. And you've never used GitLab, but you've used uh, GitHub. I think what you're going to see in future iterations of AI assistance is uh, an assistant that is available in the tool and can walk you through the learning process for that particular tool. So you could tell the assistant that you're a developer and the assistant will take that context and then provide a personalized learning path to help you get onboarded with GitLab. I still think that there will be technical tutorials uh, created uh, for tooling and stuff like that, but even the content itself could be generated by uh, AI based off of like API documentation. So from my perspective, I'm wondering, you know, what as a technical content creator can I do to adapt to uh, this new environment. And I think that what you'll see is a lot of content creators pivoting towards higher level subjects. Uh, so like rather than, you know, tool tutorials where I walk through like a workflow, I think that you'll start to see a focus more on high level architectural discussions and best practices, as well as discussion around current events and the current state of software development, for instance. More generally speaking about education as a whole and the impact that ChatGPT and generative AI are having in the, in the classroom, uh, I think that at this point, educators have to embrace generative AI. One of the most significant benefits that I see generative AI bringing to education is equity. I think it's leveling the playing field for a lot of students who wouldn't be able to afford a tutor and 
could learn things if they just had a little extra help, but they're not getting that help. Students have essentially a personalized tutor that can adapt to their learning needs and they can ask as many questions as they want. Now, if you've worked with ChatGPT at all, you've probably encountered a couple of occurrences where it either spits out incorrect information or something even more deceptive is that uh, you'll, it'll kind of like lead you down the wrong path without you knowing about it. And so there is some oversight that is required when you know, using these you know, models like ChatGPT. I think it's still important for you know, a human educator to step in and provide oversight periodically throughout a student's journey to ensure that they're aligning with uh, the learning objectives and that the chatbot is not leading them down you know, the wrong path. Additionally, I think that they'll have to adapt their current assessments and testing is going to change to be focused more around problem solving rather than, you know, multiple choice answers, for instance, or knowledge based testing where as long as you know the answer, that's it, right? Because that's where, you know, generative AI is going to excel at. Um, what it's not going to excel at is like project based work or problem solving that requires, you know, critical thinking from a student. So this is what I've been thinking about as a tech educator and a content creator, that uh, content creators like myself and educators are going to need to drastically and rapidly adapt to a new environment where generative AI is an integral part of a student's learning experience. I'd love to hear your feedback on how you think education and content creation, technical content creation, is going to change in the future with generative AI. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please leave them below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider throwing a like on it and subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.